Hey guys, alright, so I just kind of wanted to, like, explain what's been going on with me, um, and since I haven't been really posting lately any videos or updates or anything, but what had happened is that my uncle has actually convinced me to go into IT work, and I'm in the training for that and still trying to, like, practice my guitar and work on music and take care of my family, my wife, my kids, you know, and it's Christmas time, so that's been extra busy for me as well. But on top of all that, now my father-in-law is in the hospital. Um, he went in the first time with, um, he has a pacemaker, so he went in the first time because his heart was actually out of rhythm and it was causing him a lot of dizziness and feeling sick and he couldn't really walk or get out of bed or anything so my wife took him in and he stayed for a couple days and they got his heart back in rhythm and they changed some of his meds hoping that would help but then about three hours after he ended up going back because he forgot to take a med that he needed to take because before he was on a schedule and they kind of messed up his schedule when they changed the prescriptions so he I think he either forgot or I don't I'm not sure what happened so he's back in the hospital right now um, she had, she took him to a doctor's appointment and they referred him back to the ER so he's back in the ER right now and so I've been kind of trying to hold the house down as well as my wife would with uh with everything that's been going on so and watching the kids and trying to get stuff cleaned up because we're having my dad's side of the family over for christmas so trying to make the house look extra clean i guess i mean my house isn't like filthy or anything but I just want it to look, we want it to look nice for everybody since we did tell everybody that we would be hosting. So, but there's been a lot of arguments about his possessions, which is a family issue that I won't get into with her brothers. But he basically now we're trying to figure out how he could possibly get a loan or get somebody to buy the house or we could rent to own the house and with someone else buying it because I don't have quite the credit score I'm about 60 points short or so so I don't have enough credit to take out a mortgage and she wants the house because that's her childhood house and she brought all the kids home and all my all three of my boys know that's grandpa's house my dog knows it's grandpa's house, you know. So we're trying to figure that out. And the car, actually, that I'm driving right now is under his name. So we're thinking this one might have to go back because we'll have the van paid off. Um, when tax season comes around, we'll have enough for the last year of payments. But this one we owe too much on. So And he's going to... I forgot to mention, he's there sending him first to physical therapy and then they're deciding to send him to an assisted living facility here so which he doesn't really want to go but his two boys two older boys they're the like power of attorney so they can kind of dictate that kind of thing i mean he can say no but he doesn't want to stir up a bunch of shit with them so he's hasn't said you know, hey, I don't want to go there. I want to go back to my house, you know. So we're hoping that we can figure something out with the house because, I mean, the car sucks, but it's not that big of a deal. But the house, we should, we really want to figure something out because we don't want to lose that house to, like, a random person, a stranger, or, like, a different family that, like, we don't even know because, you know, that's even, like, our cat that got uh, attacked and killed by, we believe it was coyotes after the flood here in Nebraska. Um, she's buried in the back, back behind his shed. That's her grave. Um, my wife's cat she had when she was a kid. 
uh, he's buried behind the shed as well. So it's just, and the kids play in his lilac bush and they love that. And it's just something we're going to try and get and fight for. I mean, cause they don't want us, his boys don't want us to have it, but we really want to fight to get it cause they didn't grow up there, but my wife did. So we're just really hoping that we can work something out with either a banker or uh, a different investor or we can figure something out to where we can end up keeping the house. I mean, we would live there, obviously, if we bought it, so we would move in there, but we just have to find the money because they really don't want us to have it, so they're not going to like give it to us or sell it to us directly anyway so that's pretty much all that's been going on I've just been pretty stressed and <laughs> trying to figure stuff out so that's pretty much what's been going on with me lately um, as you have seen earlier I got a new song clip up of something I've been working on but under the circumstances I've been under I haven't had a whole lot of time to expand on it or work anymore on it so it's a very kind of rough mix but I just wanted to let everybody know what's going on so you're not like oh where'd he go what happened to him you know so you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you again as soon as possible have a good one guys bye